I'm a little fucked up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a story time video. Some drama is about to happen. I'll call it story time with sips and wine. I just came up with that. <laughs> Not subscribe, be sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and let's get to the video. All right. So I thought I was recording. I didn't told a whole story that never got recorded. So I'm gonna have to retell this whole freaking story. Anywho, so let's start back over. So I started working at IHOP in like August 2014. And um I had just got a car for graduation. Fancy huh? Are oh, you fancy huh? So I needed a job to help pay for insurance and keep gas in the car to get back and forth and all that good stuff. So my homegirl Keisha worked at, we're gonna call her Keisha. I ain't gonna say her real name. She worked there. She's like, oh, we hiring it. I hop, you know come on up so one day it's 10 o'clock in the morning yes i'm drinking wine but it's five o'clock somewhere so i went up there one night around six ish something like that and i talked to the manager she was like a few references she's from new orleans future references she was like well, who you know that work here uh -uh, rudeness. Uh, who, uh who told you we were hiring and da 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 First red flag. So I'm like, um, Keisha work here. You know, Keisha and I know another girl named Ronnie. We're gonna call her Ronnie. Uh Ronnie works here. And she's like, oh yeah, they good workers. So I know if you cool with them, you gonna do them. Yeah. And which I did, you know. I was I was a really, really good worker, not to toot my own horn here. But I was a good worker. So fast forward a few months pass by. Now, we're going to call this girl Little Sis because she's like a little sister. Little Sis was still in high school. Me, Little Sis, Minnie, and we're going to have another girl named Minnie. We're going to call her Minnie. Little Sis, Minnie, Keisha, and me worked the 3 p.m. to 10 p.m. shifts. So, uh, we had to wait for Little Sis to get out of school, though. You know, she was still in high school. Everybody else was graduated. So, Little Sis comes one day. Um, on a school day. I don't know what happened at the school. Some drama ended up happening. Miss, she started some mess talking crap about this girl that came into our job. So, I ended up drawing it out for you guys. I'm just trying to blend this stuff out before it dries up on my face and I don't want to spread out. So, give me one second. Ended up drawing it up. So, this is how this went. So, this right here is the opening of the store. You walk in, then there's another door, then there's a desk. I was standing here. Minnie and Keisha was standing right there. I almost said her real name. Minnie and Keisha was standing right there. Little sis was up here with this family taking their order. Now, some people just walk in and be like, okay, they want to use the bathroom. Okay, cool. Go use the restroom. That's fine. This girl, in particular girl, we're going to call her Fight Girl. She walks in and speaks to us. Like, you know, just a regular thing. Um, we didn't think nothing of it. She was just like, hey, how y'all doing? And we was like, hey, how you doing? You know, whatever. And next thing we know, all we hear is, bitch, bitch. Security. Pants going this way. Notebook going that way. Little sis was taking orders. And the fight ended up in, they ended up hitting like two booths. And they ended up fighting in the furthest back of the store. So, you know, that's little sis. We all hopped in. A manager comes flying out the back because you know she watching on the camera what we doing and whatnot. She comes flying out the back like, hold on, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? And then Minnie ended up underneath uh, little sis in the fight girl. You know me, I was gonna get a couple of licks in too because, like I said, that's little sis. And um, Keisha was trying to pull the girl off. And I'm like, they doing all this in front of this family. Mind you, it's like a baby, a toddler, and a four, five year old little girl, a mom and a dad white so i'm like y'all be so ghetto and ratchet Ooh, ah, the ghetto. so as soon as we get them off the girl runs out the front door remember how i showed y'all the notebook how the front look so it's a parking lot and we run out and we take a right we see her get in the car with these group of friends they in a little bitty old car now and this guy gets out and maces us we get maced me um Minnie. Little sis, 
No, I think little sis and Minnie was inside trying to, Minnie was trying to take care of little sis or something like that. And it was me, Keisha, and um, the manager. And she was like, get the license plate number, get the license plate number. I'm right now, F that. I started hitting on the car, cause I got mace. Come on now. So that was my first time ever getting mace and it sucked. It sucked. It felt like swallowing cinnamon in my throat. And then the police come, we do a um, filing incident, you know, they hit us. I don't, now, I'm from Baton Rouge. I don't believe in snitching. I know most people be like, nowadays you got a lot to lose. Go ahead and do the police thing. No, I'm going to get you when I get you. So, they asked us, did we want to go to court and all that? I'm like, nah, I don't care about all that crap. Because me and the mace guy ended up being cool. He probably didn't remember half that stuff. Oh, my man, I think my manager was trying to throw meanie under the bus it was like oh she wasn't helping y'all fight see i'm from new orleans this ain't nothing we used to do this and we used to do that we used to be taking orders and gangs to come up in there and start fighting sometimes they even start the shooting i'm like you proud of that like this is a business like the, the f the, the hell going on here but whatever fast forward to another incident two months after this one not even a few months probably like a month after this one um we hired this new girl we're gonna call her yellow now yellow's a pretty chick you know yellow chick good hair decent hair whatever we hired her but she also had another job i don't know what happened between her and the manager but the girl only lasted for like two weeks next thing i know we're working friday nights and saturday nights are our most busiest nights so, the girl comes up there one night. Mind you, we're hella packed. It's like tables filled to the freaking top of the roof. And the girl comes back up there with a crew. When her and the, when, no, when she, I, I want to tell this story right. I think she was doing something before she got fired or she quit. And her and the manager got into it that day. So she came back up there a few days later with a homegirl. And she comes in there looking. She was like, where's, we're going to call the manager Red. Where's Red? Where's Red? And we all just looking like, what's up? Um, Yellow, what you, what's up? And so we see two bodyguard bitches standing at the door. Now I'm cool with Yellow. I, I F with Yellow. So we go call for red and we're like um red um yellow out here want to talk to you she comes out and yellow just starts bucking trying to fight like literally trying to fight her she threatened me and we're all like oh no that's not gonna happen that's not gonna happen mind you we got a full house and we're not like we're like that's not gonna happen so everybody's looking on and she you know she's telling us to back up don't worry about it they was like, so she's like, bring it outside, bring it outside. We get out there. I want to fight one of the big bodyguard ones because the big bodyguard was looking at me kind of like, like I'm not hopping in it. I just don't want y'all to mess with my currents. You know, don't play with my coins. I need my money. You know, so don't come up here and kind of start drama. And I'm like, yellow look, just you know, get on another day. Come up here on a weekday, like when nobody's here, and you know, y'all do y'all thing. They go outside and she was like, oh, you scary, you scary, you ain't gonna fight, you talk all that, you from New Orleans and this and that, you talk all that and you not doing this and you not doing that. And I'm like, oh, chilly. Those fighting words. And she was like, I'm not worrying about that. If she wanted to do something, she would have done something in here. Y'all get back in here and start working and this and that. Mind you, I'm like, well, you sure did tell us, you know, when little sis got jumped, that this wasn't nothing. So, but, you know, we not in New Orleans. We in a different environment. So, you got to pick and choose your battles sometimes. Our tasking is hard. Like, telling stories, I don't see how Jackie I gonna do it. Sis, I give you your props because this is, this is hard. Ooh. Now, I had a few incidents of my own working there. I don't really want to speak on them, though. Like, I had issues with my ex and his new girlfriend. And, 
they'll come up there. One time they put eggs on my car, left a shitty diaper underneath the car. Just a little petty dumb stuff. We ended up finally fighting, but I'm going to tell that story in a minute. Cause, um, I'm not going to tell the fighting story because it wasn't dealing with the job. So, I mean, it was, a, it was a lot of incidents. I just don't feel like every incident needs to be spoke up on because it's not that long to tell. Like, I mean... One time, me and the cook got into it, and my dad came up there and walked around the store talking about saying nobody gonna f with my baby and just going off and whatnot. Um, one time, my ex little sis was messing around with one of the cooks, and he was cool with my ex, and my ex came up there and he um I got all pissed off and ran outside, hitting on him and cussing him out and wasn't his fault. I mean, but he knew I worked up. You saw that loud blue Mustang outside. Um. You know, people would come up there telling me when my boyfriend would drop me off, he had another girl in my car. And it was just a lot of unnecessary drama. Like, so let's fast forward to my miscarriage story. I had a miscarriage at my job. I have, this is the straw that broke the camel's back. This is when I finally left. Had all that other drama. So, yeah, um... So, I started dating my husband. Like, we wasn't really serious. But I started dating him back in February of 2015. So, I was still kind of dealing with my ex and starting to talk to him. It's whatever. So, but I wasn't, you know, having intercourse with my ex. I started having intercourse with, you know, my husband. Who was just somebody I was dating at the time. So, I ended up getting pregnant not even a few, not even a month after really knowing him. So I didn't, um, I didn't know I was pregnant though. But I started getting like these weird symptoms when I was at work. Like I'll be under the, literally under the table, like crying. I was in so much pain. I was, I couldn't eat. I'll be so hungry and I take two bites of food and I could not eat no more. And I didn't know what the hell was going on. So, I, um, one day I was, we was working and I was, um, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to get this eyeliner right. I'm running out of stuff in here and it's starting to like, one day, I drew this up for y'all too. Here we go. Alright. So, it was a Friday night. I'll never forget it. It was a Friday night. I had just recently had a fight with somebody um, in the park or whatever. So, I'm thinking that kind of probably led to the miscarriage or whatever. So, um, it was Friday night. The cook was late. The cook was late. So, me and my friend was in the kitchen. This is what the kitchen looked like. And then there's, you go around and then there's a dish room and then there's a door leading out to where, you know, the seats and everything yeah. so I, um as soon as i and then the restroom is over there so as soon as i went to the back me and my friend was cooking the food because we know you know we learn how to cook food when you know we ain't got nobody there and we just get hungry so for the last two days you know i was like spotting a little bit with really 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 sharp pain and those are the times when I was like sick and all under the table, not feeling well, and I didn't know what was going on. I ended up saying, bruh, as soon as I flipped the pancake over, I said something about to drop. Something is about to, I just felt it. So I ran into the bathroom. Sure enough, all this blood and tissue and everything that, you know, most women know when you have a miscarriage come out, came out. And like, I was just in there for about a good 15, 20 minutes. And my friend came to the door, like, you okay, you okay? And I'm like, um, yeah, I'll be out in a sec. Now, me thinking it was probably just my period being late, because my period was late. I'm thinking maybe it's just my period being late, and now it's coming, and when your period late, it's coming full force. I walked out, and my man's like, girl, you look like you just seen a ghost. And I was like, I don't know what happened. I walk, and I started telling them what I was going, what was going on, and uh, you know my manager was like, "What you had the shits or something?" And I'm like, "No, 
I said, this happened, and all this happened, and I was in the bathroom stall, and Red was like, oh, you just had a miscarriage. I have four of them. And me, not knowing I was pregnant, I didn't really have any feelings towards it. Like, I was kind of like, whatever. So, I wasn't like, whatever. I was, you know, I was still kind of hurt, but I was, I mean, I had just started dating my husband at the time, and I'm like, he ain't gonna believe that baby was his. Me used to dealing with ain't shit niggas. I'm like, you know, he gonna be ain't shit either. He probably just kind of smash and pass and call it a day. Have a blessed day. Something lashes I'm supposed to use, y'all. <laughs> I'm supposed to use my brand new kiss lashes. I'm supposed to use these. But anyway, so we um, I was my uh, friend Keisha was like, I don't know whether to hug you or or what, and I'm like, well, I didn't know I was pregnant. I I didn't know anything, so I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, I sent a quick text message to my husband at the time. Well, my husband now. I sent a quick text message to him and I was like, I got something I want to tell you, but I don't know how to tell you. And he was like, well, just tell me. I'm like, okay, I'm So I texted him and told him what had happened. And he was like, now see, was that so hard? And I'm like, well, I mean, I only been knowing you for about a month, sir. Excuse me. So he was like, well, you know. So how do you, he asked me how did I feel about it and I was like I mean I didn't know I was pregnant so for me it was like you know I'm sad I'm not sad I'm hurt but I mean I didn't I didn't know I was pregnant so I kind of just brushed it off and little pregnant with my son a few months after that anyway so <laughs> um Yeah, so that's just a few. That's one of my worst jobs. I have a, I had another bad job. I ain't gonna say bad, but this job is just ghetto. But the other job was bad. Like this while I was pregnant with my son working at Sam's Club bad, but I'm not gonna tell you that story just yet. It's not really much to tell anyway. Just had a whole bunch of nosy people in my business because that's where I met my husband at and they was like discussing us and whatnot but I'm all over the place I don't like being those type of people that's why I don't really do story time because I'm not a stay in one spot person I be all over the place and I didn't put no blush on I don't need it yeah that was just one of the story times that I ended up having now I have some more stories like one one about my ex so i'll be telling that one soon so make sure you subscribe and you like and then you're commenting all right you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment i know this was a story that was all over the place but i tried my best my first story time what can i say so like I said, I have plenty more story times coming up. So make sure you like and subscribe. And be sure you check that description box down below. Follow all my social media sites, which will be, which will be listed down below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Is it recording? Okay. So, I was going to leave this story out. But then, I was like, you know what? F it. I'm going to go ahead and tell it. So, I know I look crazy. I'm at the gas station. But I'm going to go ahead and tell the story. I know my lips look crazy. My mustache showing. I ain't got no makeup on. But whatever. So, one day me and my me and Keisha was at our friend house. And we ended up getting a phone call from one of the managers. She was like the nighttime manager. The overnight shift manager. We're going to call her Dark Chocolate. We're going to call her DC. So, DC ended up calling us one day. No, 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 no. It wasn't DC. Uh, little sis texted us. And was telling us that uh, DC... And a waitress got into it. 
we immediately hopped in my car and we drove up there so when we got up there dc now dc normally be coming to work looking like makeup done hair slayed you know nice and she came up we went up there we went in the room with the cameras or whatever and she looked at like me right now like you know i, I just got done crying y'all don't ask why or whatever she looked at like this and her hair was all over her head she had a bob in her head at that time and she was explaining us the story that happened and she showed us the video so long I'm, i don't know if i'm getting the story right but i know the gist of it so because i just talked to keisha on um, instagram or whatever so one of the cooks went back and told the waitress that dc was talking smack about her and the waitress we're gonna call her bg big girl the waitress went back i guess she didn't ask no questions or whatever so she went around the back through the dish um the dish um area and all you see on the camera is her you know dc was scrambling eggs i know i'm all over the place dc was scrambling eggs and you see bg go around and just start beating her with the eggs just, uh the skillet went one way the eggs went another way and they was literally fighting and the cook went in there trying to break them up and i'm thinking like M Effa, you you started that like how you doing that like the fuck like the hell and i just felt so bad like the next day i wanted to fight bg but bg ended up getting fired immediately red came up there and you know she was like you know that's a wrap like there's no nothing i don't even know if charges was pressed or not but yeah that that's that that story i wish i knew more on it like remembered a little bit more of it but i don't sorry guys but i just wanted to put that out there so yeah um but yeah you guys don't forget to subscribe to subscribe like comment and i'll see you guys in my next video let me get out these uh people parking lot <laughs>